Hello, Scorpio, my awesome Scorpio. Guys, I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. So, Scorpio, you want a soulmate reading. That's what we're going to do, whether you're currently in contact with your soulmate or not. This is going to be for the month of December, but starting now. Today is the 19th of November. So, let's see. Um, first part of this video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Scorpio. What you'll be dealing with, facing, how to best handle it for your highest good, especially on your soulmate journey second part of this video we're going to ask about your soulmate whether you're currently in contact with them or not we're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate how they are relating to you emotionally and what's on their mind what they thinking feeling in relation to you so let's do this scorpio universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of scorpio for scorpio's highest good please universe what's coming towards scorpio what will scorpio be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good what's coming towards scorpio what is coming towards scorpio one very strong extra message wants to come out wow communication showing up here hmm communication travel also wow some kind of misunderstandings yeah so this is you communicating with different people uh you traveling yeah and people traveling to you as well to see you um you're gonna have a lot of things on your plate uh, between now and the end of december a lot of things uh, people misunderstanding each other, maybe some arguments in their family. Um, hmm. Yeah, travel showing up here. So a lot of you will be traveling, dealing with different people. Let's see, universe, what's coming towards Scorpio? The sun, beautiful. So if you're planning to travel or people are traveling to see you, this is good. This is good. Reunions showing up here. Uh, maybe family reunions yeah so here <clears throat> uh, some people are showing up here as having disagreements misunderstandings but you know they all have karma to balance we all have karma to balance yeah you see look at this five of wands twice from two different tarot decks so uh, if this is what's going to happen in your family or whatever it is that you're going to be dealing with with people. Uh, yeah, just understand that people have their own individual karma with each other to balance. So the best way is to stay neutral. Yeah, not to get involved in their drama. They need to resolve that drama amongst themselves. They have their own individual karma with each other. They need to resolve this is you wow a lot of you scorpio are very psychic and working with the spirit world this is you getting communication whether you're aware of it on a conscious level or not you are getting uh messages communication from higher power so you're very intuitive uh, have very intuitive uh spirit about you yeah you read energy very well this is you uh, <clears throat> getting messages from your loved ones uh, who have departed. Wow, this shows problems with communication with your soulmate. It's like you're not trusting them. Um, yeah, like your soulmate is not communicating effectively with you. You're very guarded emotionally. So there's definitely showing up drama, misunderstandings between different family members. Uh, or friends uh, so there's going to be drama uh, people not agreeing that's normal whenever there are gatherings of people people disagree on different issues depending what it is they're here to learn in this particular lifetime so the best way to approach this is to let them duke it out on their own remember they all have their own individual karma to balance with each other wow so gatherings showing up here, celebrations, gatherings, uh, reunions showing up here. This is good. Overall, this shows a positive energy for you. 
Yes, people will be disagreeing on certain things, but that's to be expected. Everybody has different opinions about things, and often people disagree with each other based on what they believe individually. This is beautiful. This is victorious energy for you, Scorpio. Victory. Beautiful. This is you being very balanced. Bringing, it's like you are the peacekeeper. Bringing uh, good energy in. Uh, this is you not allowing people to confuse you. Yeah. Very good. Universe, please show us. This is also travel. Universe, what's coming towards Scorpio? Yeah, this is you being very grounded. Yeah. Ooh, you're thinking about your soulmate. Your soulmate is showing up here, even though we didn't ask about them yet directly. We're going to ask about them in a few minutes, but they're showing up here, us wanting to reunite with you. <clears throat> yeah. This person wants you in their life, like they want to give you something. This is them reminiscing about you. They may be at a distance from you, physical distance, whether they're traveling or they living far away from you. Um, yeah, this person wants to extend some kind of emotional offer to you. Yeah, even though they feel like maybe you're not going to pay attention to them, they want to uh, do it anyway. They want, they want to extend something. They are kind of concerned about getting rejected. Yeah, this person has a lot of feelings for you, love for you. Look at all these emotions showing up here from them. All these cups, love for you. <clears throat> wow, let's see what's going on with this person of yours. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio, for Scorpio's highest good, please. Oh, this just flipped over. The devil and the hanged man. You feel like you've put uh, work and time into this and you haven't received what you deserve in this relationship. It feels toxic to you. So yeah, this person hasn't reciprocated. Yeah, you feel like you put your life on hold. Like you overextended yourself. And they haven't shown uh, that they are going to put work into this. Let's see, universe, what is going on with the soulmate of Scorpio? And how is the soulmate of Scorpio currently relating to Scorpio? Especially emotionally. What is going on with the soulmate of Scorpio? What are they thinking and feeling, especially in relation to Scorpio? Extra message sticking out. Let's see. Wow, you see, this is this is them not communicating effectively with you. This is them feeling exhausted, like they can't move on. Like they feel there's something off that needs to be worked on. This person is unable to move on. Uh, they're not giving up on this. No, they're not communicating effectively. They want to reconcile with you. So this person feels you need to be a part of their life. They're hoping for reconciliation after not communicating effectively. Uh, this is poor communication between the two of you showing up here. Yeah, they're trying to be strong. Oh, a lot of you are dealing with Leo, also Virgo. This person wants to reconcile with you, wants to be on peaceful terms with you. Let me see the extra. Yeah, they want to manifest this reconciliation this person wants to patch things up with you at least that's their intention uh, a lot of you are dealing with uh, gemini also aquarius libra universe what's going on with the soulmate of scorpio and how is the soulmate of scorpio currently relating to scorpio especially emotionally wow this person showing up here as reversed moon. So this person was scared before. It looks like uh, their fear is subsiding. They feel they need to be brave. Yeah, like they couldn't see clearly before what they need to do, but now they see clearly what needs to be done. Yeah, this person can't stop thinking about you, can't stop loving you. They're reminiscing about you, very emotional towards you. 
past life connection, especially this combination here of judgment and six of cups shows that the two of you were together many lifetimes. Different relationships though, not always romantic. This person is trying to figure out the best way to proceed. They know they're going to have to do something eventually, but they feel at a crossroads. Yeah, you see strength card showing up twice. They, they really restraining themselves from communicating how they feel or what they want. Oh yeah, so this person has, uh, look at this, they, they hide their feelings from the world. They don't like to show feelings. They don't like to feel emotionally vulnerable. This is a facade. Um, yeah, this now, Emperor by itself, or surrounded by good cards is good. But this time the Emperor is with the Ten of Swords and the Moon card. Although reversed, still it shows that this person has ego um, manipulating their relationships. This person uh, doesn't show emotions easily. Um, they have hard times uh, with relationships with other people. Yeah, you see, this is not a good combination. This person hides a lot. Um, they hide their fears. They hide secrets. Uh, because they feel very vulnerable. There's so much that they fearing or were fearing in the past uh, that uh, did not help them. Uh, how, how secretive they were did not help them with their relationships. Yeah. So this person is hiding a lot um, about themselves, how vulnerable they feel. Secrets. This is secrets. Yeah. Ooh, I don't like this. No, this is not good. This person is showing up as very toxic, controlling. This is not good combination. The devil, deceit, seven of swords, and the emperor. No, and ten of swords over here, and the moon. This is not good. This person has a lot of uh, insecurities. Yeah. Yeah, this person is very slow to showing emotions, very slow to action, but they want to manifest something here. This person does not want to let you go. Oh my goodness, they're showing up as toxic though. Yeah, they are. So this reading is for those of you, Scorpio, that have been dealing with a toxic person who's been restraining themselves from showing emotions, love, uh, let's see, universe, what is going on with the summit of Scorpio? A lot of you are dealing with a Libra and also a very strong Sagittarius showed up. Universe, please show us what is going on with the soulmate of Scorpio and how is the soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio? See, all of a sudden they feel that they need to come in with some kind of solid offer in order for you to take them seriously. This person is checking up on you, <clears throat> keeping tabs on you. Yeah. This person is showing up as attractive, uh, successful, powerful, uh, enigmatic, charismatic, attracting people. Almost some of them are famous or semi-famous respected by a lot of people so it looks like this person is good at business but when it comes to personal relationships they're not good at it yeah they're not good at showing feelings emotions sharing love uh yeah scorpio we're gonna go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you uh, especially between now and the end of December. Then we're gonna ask what they are hiding from you at this time, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you should be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're gonna ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle the summit connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, Scorpio, whether it's your, um, health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know 
they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys.